Hi, everybody, it's Wanda. So this is gonna be my third aluminum nine inch diameter disc cutout that I received from a friend of mine. And I have put the same piece of um, contact paper on it that I used on the other one and reused it. Uh, if you saw that video, if you didn't, you can find it. Um, it was just a couple videos back. So I have taken all the leftover paints from the last two videos where I did the, the uh, aluminum disc and put them in my cup, layered with some black. I did add a little bit of white at the end. So I have uh, this purple iris that's apple barrel. I have this metallic folk art ice blue that I love. I have this Anita's metallic that says that it's blue, but it's actually a green look. Um, I have Prussian blue that I mixed up. I have this bright pink. I have no idea what it is, but I decided to throw some of that in the mix. And I had a purple sitting over there that was dark that I added some white to and lightened it up. So this is just a potpourri of colors. About halfway through the cup, I dropped three drops of treadmill silicone, the spot-on treadmill silicone in it. So, it has not been put into the paint. It's only been put right in the middle of the cup. It hasn't been stirred in or anything. So, we're going to see what happens here. I just wanted to try these colors and get rid of some paint that I had mixed up. So, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to try not to talk with this left hand in the screen the whole time. I apologize for that. I talk with my hands, apparently, and hadn't noticed that I was getting right up in the screen whenever I was doing it, so I'll try to stay out of frame with that left hand, except to do the painting. So, I did reach 500 subscribers. I do want to thank everyone that has subscribed. I love when you all comment. Um, it doesn't have to be positive. You don't have to worry about hurting my feelings. Um... If you have a suggestion, please make one. If there's a color combo that you would like for me to do, let me know. And I appreciate so much the people that do comment, but I know I get a lot of views besides just the people that comment. So you don't have to comment if you don't want to. Um, it's not a necessity, but I do appreciate it. If if you think it's a you know outstanding one, then just say you like it. You know, if you don't like it, you say you don't like it, or you can just not comment or whatever. You know. But I do appreciate you coming back and watching. It really means a lot to me. So I am going to scoot this over and give it a flip. It finally warmed up enough I don't have to have on my flannel shirt. Golly, these colors look so good. Look. Can you see? Look at that purple. That must have been some purple amethyst right there. Oh, love this. Let's just kind of go around in a circle and see what happens here. Because I like that too, and that came out of the cup last. So. The white was the last thing I added, and I poured it from really high up, and it was really thin. And it sunk, of course, right down through the middle, but that was okay. That's kind of what I wanted it to do. Got a few cells. I like that pink in the mix. I think this purple thing looks kind of weird, so I'm gonna 
tilt back the other way now. It's too much of a good thing. I want some of it. I didn't want all of it. Okay, dokie. Now, this seems to be over the edge good. I um, think I need to get some of that paint off. This edge doesn't hasn't dropped off, so I'm gonna have to drop it off. And then this really has a lot. I think it's still running off though. I think my tables move my little thing that I've got it sitting on, which is an empty frog tape container. I keep those to use for this. Record albums and stuff. I make good stands. I think this is gonna be pretty. So I'm going to continue to get some of this off the edges, off of that excess contact paper. And then I'll give you a close up view of it and check it out. Cause it looks like right here, I don't have enough over the edge of that pretty blue. So I wanna make sure every edge is covered. Um, Try to get it to fall on over if it hasn't. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Uh, I invite you to come back, spend a little time with me, see what I'm up to. I'm going to do that lampshade in the next couple of days that I mentioned, I think, in one of my other videos. And um, it is not a cloth lampshade, so I can't wait to show it to you. So I will torch this a little bit. Looks like I have a little bubble action going on there. There should be a lot of that hologram paint in some of this stuff. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Um, we'll see after it dries whether or not it stays on top or sinks. But um, I really love this and this. Wow, those col colors are fabulous. I like the pink in it. I don't like the fact that I got this big white spot now, even though it's got a nice little swirl right there. Um, and that this looks all oh, so much different than just this area right here, but maybe another cell will pop up or something. So I will show it to you after it's dry. Thank you. Okay, I've got light coming in from the um, French door and I want to show you how this turned out. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it now that it's on aluminum. Um, there's a lot of silicone laying on top of the surface right in there. It actually looks like it's wet. Um, there's divots like sunken in cratered looking texture but the hologram paint in that blue and that purple just turned out gorgeous <laughs> so i have a gorgeous place and then i have a lot of ugly places um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do about this look at all that texture um i just don't like it and sorry i sound croaky but uh, for some reason i'm having something going on with my throat so that's how this one turned out. And the only part I like is this part right here. I think it's pretty. So I'll see if I can uh, peel this off, I guess. And when I go to pull the edge back on the paper, I know that looks terrible. I can't do it with one hand. It's pulling the paint off the aluminum where it puddled up. It took it two days to dry too, uh, probably because of the silicone. It just looks yucky. So that was 
a failed experiment there. Um, just looks really strange, even though I think I have a critter. Looks like some kind of weird deer. So thanks for watching.